frostbite. We're about to go to work on this suspension, so I'm going to show you what we're going to do here with these new brackets and bars. So here we go. That little rolled lip has to be cut off flush on both sides of each bracket. So we got to get rid of this whole thing so this is just flat to be able to mount my brackets on. So we're going to get the uh, Sawzall and a good blade and we're gonna, just going to cut it off real quick. Shouldn't be too bad. All right, we're going to scoot under the rear end here and show you what's going on here with the factory bars. So as I showed earlier on cutting off the lip off the factory bars so that we can get ready to install my plates. I still got to clean this up a little bit, but just wanted to show you the angle of the bars before I change them. You can see that's the front connection point, and then that is the rear. And that's the rear. So you got the upper bar, and then the lower bar, which that's the one we're going to be making a big change on. But if you can get an idea of what the angle is right there, you can see that it's starting from the front mounting location, it's raking upwards a lot. It's got a big angle to it. After we get done installing these plates and dropping this bar down, you're going to see this bottom bar is going to be pretty level and we're going to have a much better suspension set up especially to go along with the QA1 double adjustable shocks that we have installed already and then this is the driver's side so we're going to be doing the same thing so hell yeah let's get to it so we're going to be replacing this bar that goes across the, the rear end, the pan hard bar, along with both upper and lower link bars, we will be changing those with the, the uh, new aluminum racing core 4x4 bars that has the double adjustable Johnny joints. So I'm going to start unbolting these old bars and get the new ones put on, and then I'll show you guys what our suspension looks like when we get done with it.
like a mother.